Hi, Sirius Reefs here, back on another Realm Grinder video, episode 79, and I've just reincarnated for the 39th time and got this message. Your realm has reached an immense amount of wealth, so much that your treasury can no longer contain it. You now need to ascend. Once you reach enough gems, click the new ascend button to see the world with new eyes. So, this is what... Like, look at this. Is, this is going to... I'm just going to read this description. I'm, of course, I don't have the gems yet, but I'm just going to read this. Ascending will reset. All the progress of reincarnation would reset. It would not reset your reincarnation amount. And then we'll revert back to, um, to the reincarnate button for reincarnation 41 with new requisites. By ascending, you will unlock a new main currency, diamond coins, that will be used and po for post-ascension upgrades and features, resulting in much smaller numbers. Like the reason why Ascension is even a thing is because this game does not go beyond E308. All upgrades that previously cost gold coins will be free. I've heard about that, and I'm really excited for that, honestly. And the formulas for subse subsequent reincarnations will change to allow continued progress. All gift bonuses, scree rewards, that, that's, um, that, that's not on Steam. Ruby bonuses, event bonuses, and gem bonuses will not be affected by the Ascension reduction. The reincarnation process will reset all your stats, your excavations, and remove all your gems. However, you will keep your trophies and gain a new free upgrade. Okay, no, this is just this is just reincarnation. So, yeah, the, you can just see how, like you know, it, it, it there's a lot of hype, and we got the control bug. And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do the grinding up to E144 gems off camera. So, yeah, seeing a bit. Okay, I'm back um, multiple days later, actually, and I can abdicate for E146 gems. And this is actually enough to ascend, but I'm not going to ascend this episode. That's going to be next episode, episode 80, where it's going to be a live stream. I'm super excited for that. There are some things I do want to go for um, pre-ascension, like mostly some trophies. And also there's all the event stuff I, I still want to discover, so... Yeah, I'm just going to abdicate here. Technically, I can ascend. I I won't. Because what I'm actually going to do here, I'm going to go um, gobline to try to get as many like buildings as, as possible. I'm also going to try to get certain researches that give me the most buildings as possible. Also, I, I may actually go with my Dwery build instead of my Dwangel build. So, yeah, I feel like, yeah, I'll do, I'll do fairies here and then... Just go for researches that give me the most buildings. That's I'm going to try to do this for every alignment. So without any researches at all, I'm already up to um, 4,500 of all the buildings. And once I actually start getting like the researches that reduce cost multipliers, I, I know I know there's somewhere. I it, this is definitely going to make things pretty overpowered. Like here's one that reduces cost multipliers. I think there's another one. Yeah, it's the one for unique buildings. There may be another one that I am missing somewhere. I mean, there is each building in the three highest building tiers counts as two buildings. I don't know, maybe I'll, I'll select it just so I can possibly get more. Like, I, I'm not sure if it'll count for trophies, but whatever. So now I'm just going to load the Dwery build, like the rest of it. And also, actually, I can, I can grab these 40 orbs, which is exactly enough to get the Winterly Alliance and all the upgrades with it. So, the, the Winterly Spirits believe in an absolute order and perfect organization. They are incredibly meticulous about details and hate last minute changes. Affiliated with the Winterly faction will provide steady growing bonuses to production and will pre prevent any contact and from and to the Sumerians until you um, break your alliance. So, I've actually, I've, I've heard, um, I, I looked up how much these upgrades cost because it's real, it's really, it is, it's really close. So there's increased production of all building space and times affiliated with the Winterly. It's like nothing um, except I'm getting these. Yeah, I'm getting the quest. Increased assistance production based on the amount of um, frost orbs you've collected in the event. This is very powerful. And then there's spell durations that are increased by 100%. So all that's actually really powerful. And also it unlocks all those quests. But anyway, I'm going to actually start getting the buildings. I can get 30 thousand enchanted fields that's that is so ridiculous seriously like 30 it's it breaks this actually there's a 12,000 and then there's a 20,000 and I and I got that as well so 
I also want to see what this new spell is. Increase the production of all buildings based on hailstorm um, activity time for, it's like 10 minutes. Um, bonus provided increases progressively over the duration of the spell. So it's essentially brainwave. That's that's what I'm getting. It's it's just brainwave, except it's a different spell. I can also get all of these to, you know, get more, even more researches here. And actually there's even more. I probably should do something like, yeah, that one looks very powerful. And this allows me to get another few thousand buildings. It's also enough to get 12,000 blacksmiths for another trophy. And also I, I can get I can get 6,000 of all the other buildings, but it doesn't look like I can do much more. I guess I can get 10,000 ins, but that's about it for um, this. I feel like I, I, I'm i going to do a similar thing with the evil factions. Like I, maybe I can use my Droblin build to try to get the most here. So, except I'm worried that if I... You know what? I'm thinking what I should actually do is just wait it... I'm not maybe risky to wait out. I'm just the thing is that um, I really want to get this event quest where I need to collect a stack of 480 of any orbs while having all three upgrades of either submarine or winterly. And if you unlock this feat, you will permanently unlock a new upgrade. So I feel like that's actually what I should focus on first. I'm in, I'm in no rush to ascend right now, so that's what I will do. And I feel like. I'm actually worried because if the coins actually gets to 1.79 E308, it will display as, like, not a number, and I will be forced to ascend without being able to do anything else. So, I'm actually thinking of of, of not auto-casting anymore, just so I can, I can try to not get to E308. So, I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna wait for 480 flame orbs, and then so I can get the event upgrade. So, yeah, seen a bit. Okay, I'm back a few hours later and I can finally get some more flame orbs, which will allow me to unlock the event upgrade. Also unlocks um, one of these other quests. I think it was just for like, collect a stack of 40 or more flame orbs while affiliated with the winterly. It's probably this one. And it's, it's just a color option. But here is the upgrade. It most likely increases faction coin find chance based on clicks made all time. So that's that's pretty nice. And I may just want to... I'm just curious. I'm a little nervous that I'm going to go over E308. But I'm just curious how much... Is this E283? Um, E295? Um, it's, no, I'm not, I'm not going to go over E308. I, I, I was just curious about how far... I was able to get because maybe I could get you know ten thousand ins and thirty four thousand enchanted fields. So yeah, that's insane. But anyway, I think I'm just going to abdicate and become um, the Droblin build with Goblin, just so I can try to get as many evil buildings as possible. This also means I'm not affiliated with the Winterly anymore. That's that's why I. It's actually, wait, it's free to do it now, since I affiliated with it once. I I didn't even know that, so I guess I can just um, affili keep affiliating with it because there's, because, yeah. So, yeah, that, that, that's interesting. But anyway, Droblin build with Goblin. Let's let's see, I need, I need to, I can load template here, Droblin build. And this should actually, that wasn't the best idea because I used up all the economics researches and... Like, I didn't get the ones that could actually, like, or do, actually, I do have the reduce cost multiplier for unique buildings, and it can't really get the, this one at all, so I, I think, I think this is actually okay. I need some faction coins to be able to get, um, the flame of, of Bonnar upgrade, so I'm going to exfate just a little bit, um, that is, okay, now I'm to 1420. Which will allow me to get the flame, which will allow me to get a few more researches here, which will help things. And then I think I can also get some royal exchanges, and then I feel like I can just do a few of these to try to get. Like I feel like I can. I haven't gotten five thousand of. Yeah, I haven't gotten five thousand of a lot of these evil buildings. So it gives me five trophies right there. So that was definitely worth it. Now, like, yeah, the next ones are 7,500, which I'm nowhere close to. 
Like, well, even the unique buildings are just 6,000. So I feel like I'm just going to go into a neutral build. Like the druid research build. Because I'm too lazy to make a completely new research build. So again, I'm going to get the reduced cost multiplier for unique buildings and then just load the druid research build templates and that should give me I'm not sure if this is gonna quite give me 5,000 of all the buildings I can get 5,000 stone pillars but I'm not sure if I can get like everything else also the hailstorm is actually really good like you can see this is going this is going up like a lot so it's, can, it's actually quite a powerful spell and also grand balance is now affecting so many buildings I'm not even sure I know it's based on something, it's like some sort of challenge reward, but I'm not sure exactly sure which challenge reward it is. But anyway, I'm just gonna, yeah, I should probably just cast all the other spells, and that should allow me to um, reach 5,000 of the rest of the neutral buildings. And that makes it so I get six more trophies. So I have 728 trophies. That is, that's pretty crazy. And... Hailstorm is extremely powerful as well. And honestly, I feel like that I've sort of sort of complete right now. Like I, I'm just gonna I'm, I'll explore like the Sumerian alliances, but I think this is all the trophies that I'm actually going to get pre ascension. So yeah, I'm I'm really excited. I'm, I'm still gonna do the um, Sumerian alliance, but. Not not much more than that, and then I'm going to ascend next episode. So yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back a few days later, and with the orbs, I have 4772 orbs or flame orbs, which means I can actually um, affiliate with the Sumerians or what, whatever. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna call them the Sumerians, even though it's probably not how you pronounce it, but whatever. And I'm just gonna go with the usual Dwindle build because. Um, yeah, I, I actually sort of want to reach E308 in this run, because I've gotten all the trophies I think I I would get otherwise, so he, here it is. Um, I didn't actually read the description, but when you collect flame orbs during, um, floating on your realm, the pressure of buildings is basically the amount of um, orbs collected with this click for 10 seconds. So, okay, that looks pretty weak. Get additional assistance based on clicks made this game. It's only 6. Decrease the cost of spell by 50%. And then the spell here is um, increased production of all buildings based on spells cast in this game for 12 seconds. So, okay, this definitely... I, I like the Winterly better, but it also gives faction coins, so it's it's, 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 it's pretty good. Like, I, I feel like... like I, It's like Goblin's Greed. It's not a very powerful for, like, production, but it's, it's, it's definitely... It's definitely pretty good, at least. And also, I... Um, Wanted to collect some frost orbs to get the last like sort of like event thing. So let's see. It's just a, it's just a Dwangel research build. And now, okay, of course I need the faction coins. And actually, this this is now a lot more powerful because it's based on spells cast in this game, and I'm casting tons and tons of tax collections. So yeah, I'm already up to E301, which is insane. And now when I I'm up to E305, E306. I'm just going to collect these um, flame orbs, or no, the frost orbs, to get the last event thing. And there it is. I've gotten every single event thing, but E307, I'm just, just max excavations. I'm, I'm, I'm about to hit E308. I'm a, I, I, I saw one point something E308. That's how much I had. I'm going to just max out the game right now. This is insane. Buy, buy all the buildings while I still can, because... I'm going to reach NAN coins, which means when I reach NAN coins, that means the only thing I can do is actually ascend. So, yeah, this is now up to 28,000%. 7E307, 8E307, 1E308, 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.3, oh no, I'm still 1.2E308. I'm going to probably keep 1.4, 1.6, 1.7, and... Um, well, 1.797, and and then this this must be where where is the NAN? The, okay, I I must have hit NAN because now if I yeah, here it is, 
N A N. Probably everything here is gonna be N A N. They they probably fixed they probably fixed this so that like you can't really reach N A N coins. But yeah, this must be the the max I can hit. So yeah, that that, that that's pretty exciting. Next episode is gonna be Ascension. It's going to be a live stream. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out. One more thing. Now um, this reads infinity per second. So, yeah.